today I'm working on my 2008 335i. Um, what I'm going to do is code the DRLs to be angelized by default instead of the standard DRLs. From the factory, if you have a 06, 07, or 08, I believe, uh, E90 or E92, um, by default, uh, if you have your DRLs on, I think you can toggle it on through your instrument cluster or you can do it through your iDrive display if you have iDrive. By default, uh, the DRLs are uh, just going to be the high beams, but at a lower intensity. I keep them off. What I'm going to do now is go into my football module and actually code it so that the uh, angel eyes are your DRLs. And another thing I want to do is actually increase the voltage that goes to the angel eyes. It's a little more complicated uh, than later production cars, but what you can do is go into the actual module and um, I'll show it in the video if I'm successful in doing that. But by default, the first thing I want to show is how to code your angel eyes as your DRLs. And next thing would be um, how to uh, set your hazards to flash uh, double impulse. I'm also going to be putting in a set of uh, LED uh, angel eyes, just a cheap set off eBay, and uh, putting in some LED turn signals, just, just for the heck of it. So we're going to start by showing you how to toggle on, uh, on and off your uh, DRLs and what they would look like by default. This would be applicable to late production 07 cars and 08 cars with the FRM2 module. Um, I believe before that there was no real way to do it. You had to get a harness and whatnot to be able to to run power to your angel eyes. Um, but if you have a, I believe it was production date April 07 and onward, you should have the FRM2 module, and there is a way to go in through NCS Expert and actually code your DRLs to run the angel eyes by default and not the high beams. So by default, key on. That's just key on. I got no um, DRLs. But we're gonna go in to actually set that up now. Turn them on. Lighting. So if I turn them on, I never keep them on, but that's what you'll have if you do keep them on standard from the factory, which is just your high beams running at low intensity, like any other car out there. It's not very appealing and I don't like them, so I just keep them off. So what we're going to show now is how to do it uh, through NCS Expert to change it from your low, your high beams to um, <coughs> to just run them as your angel eyes. So I've shown this in a number of videos before, um, but basically you want to pick up a K plus D can cable. You can find them on eBay, you can find them on Amazon. You shouldn't pay more than 20 bucks for it. So you want one of those, um, I've said in a number of other videos. And then you're gonna wanna have a laptop set up with NCS Expert. So, first thing you wanna do is make a connection to the car, load up IMPA. I'm gonna link to a thread on how to set all of this up uh, below. So you can start from scratch. You need to have a laptop that uh, you don't really use as your daily driver, just as a spare, cheap laptop that you can just clean and install windows on and follow the instructions to a T. But if you do that, you should be able to set up NCS Expert and then we can go on uh, showing you how to code it. Okay, I got my cable connected to the OBD port. I'm gonna put the key on. I'm gonna make sure that your headlights are off and your uh, interior fan is not running so you don't drain down your battery. So, let me get a clear shot of the laptop here. So now, to verify that I have a connection to the car, I'm going to load up IMPA, 
you want to see battery on, ignition on. Again, that thread that I'm going to link to will show you how to set all this up. The main concern right now is uh, just showing you if all goes well with your setup. When you first connect input, connect to input, you want to see that. That means ignition on. You got a good connection to the car. Now, I'm going to quit this. And you want to load up NCS Expert. We're going to run it. First thing you want to do is load a profile. I'm going to load this one, RevTour. You can use Expert Man, I believe, as well, but I choose to use that. So you want to run, you want to click F1. And then you want to click ZCS slash FA.F.ECU. You want to go down, select your chassis. Once you set this up, you're going to select E89. That applies to pretty much any E90, E92, E93, E91, etc. And then I'm going to pull off the NFRM module. So what that does is it pulls the information from the vehicle's order off the CAN bus. It grabs the VIN, it grabs a list of all the modules that are connected to the car and and all that. So if you click OK, you'll see it. You'll see the VIN load. You'll see that load. You want to click back after this. Now, here's a list of all the options for all the different modules in the car. We don't want to go into all those. We want to just process a particular ECU. So we're going to click process ECU. We're going to look for NFRM right there. Hit OK. It's basically talking about which files it's going to use to pull data. So OK. Now, what we want to do is read the ECU. It's going to pop up a little dialog box. Okay, it's a bunch of hexadecimal information, close that out. So we're done with this for now. What we're going to want to do is, what we did is, it automatically changed the job name. That's the fastest way to do it, so we could have clicked change job and it would have basically automatically changed it so that it would be this right here, SG Coderin. Kudira Dayton underscore Leeson. That means it's going to read. L-E-S-E-N means read in German. So what I did was read so you would automatically change the job for you. When we have to write back to it, we'll have to change that again. So basically, once you've done that, you're going to have the file that you want to work with in a particular directory on your computer. It's going to be under Drive C. We're going to go to NCS Expert. We're going to go to Work. And you're going to notice here, we want to work with the fsw underscore psw.trc file. It was generated at 7.43 p.m. That was one minute ago. I've set it up so this would open up with Notepad for me automatically. First time you do this, it's going to ask you how do you want to open this. And you just choose your default program as Notepad for any TRC file. Now, I already searched for what needs to be changed. But basically... If you were to go search, hit Control F. I actually have it on my tablet here, so it's not something you can keep in your mind off the top of your head. So you're going to want to search for V E R H A L T E N. So what I'll do is V E R H A L T E N. Click Find Next. Next next when you get to this see right there it says v a v e r h a l t e n underscore d r l underscore t f l right here it says d r l underscore h right what i recommend what we recommend you do is save this just in case you have a problem. I'll just save it here. 
as a backup. Okay. Ah. So now you have a good bit backup of your file in case something goes wrong. But so we're back into this again. We're gonna search for that. I don't want to change anything here. Halton. Right, you want the third one pretty much in your drop down list. So, what has to change here is when it says H, that means high beams, I guess. Um, if we were to change this to S, that's all you have to do. You're going to want to save this as .man. That's the manipulated file. That's what the ECU is going to have loaded back into it. So if you click save, I already have a blank one there. You'll always have a blank one. Or from the last time you manipulated anything. But I'm going to save this. Replace it. So now I can go back into NCS Expert and load my change. So we'll do that now. Okay, so we've got the car set up on a battery charger just to play things safe. We're going to click basic functions, F5. And we got to scroll down until we see C-O-A-P-I-R-E-A-D-S-G-G-E-T-F-S-W-P-S-W. -S -S so right here. C-O-A-P-I-R-E-A-D-S-G-G-E-T-F-S-W-P-S-W. PSW. Click OK on this. You hit OK. Should say ended perfect or something like that. Okay. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to change the job now to be SG Coderin. Hit OK. Now once we click Execute Job, it's actually going to load that program file, the actual um, manipulated file that I had set. So click Execute Job. It's going to take a minute or so. Okay, we're done. So I'm going to put key off and we'll see where we're at through the iDrive now. Okay, in the car now, going key on. We're going to go over to the iDrive and go to settings, vehicle, and then daytime rain lamps. Put it on. We'll see what we get. There you go. Pretty simple. So that's it. DRLs are now Angel Eyes. It loaded that uh, into the ECU and all as well. Only thing is, you know, that looks a lot better. It looked pretty bright in the camera, but my, this is a new camera and it's got pretty good low light performance. I think it's exaggerating the way they look. But that's what I'll have now. Just key on driving during the day. So this is going to be the end of this first video. It shows you how to code your angel eyes. I've seen so much stuff on YouTube and nobody's really shown this. Uh, I think it's kind of like a hidden secret because people like to charge for it. People are buying harnesses to jumper between their high beams and then their angel eyes and all this work. 
it's pretty stupid considering that you have to do that if you have an 05, which you know, overseas, an 06, um, and early production 07, because you're gonna have the FRM1, the first generation footwell module, and it's not gonna have this provision. This never came, this wasn't from the factory, it's something you gotta code, I guess some countries got it, I don't know what the deal is. Only thing is, you know, it's nicer. I like, obviously anybody would like this better. It's kind of like the 09 and the later cars that have their DRLs as their, their angel eyes. Only issue is brightness. During the day, I don't know how much you're gonna stand out. I still have halogens on here. So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna show next is how to increase the intensity. This is gonna be in another video. How to run higher voltage to the actual uh, angel eyes. And by default, I believe they're running at 12 volts now. You have to play around with a bunch of hexadecimal code. It can get a little complicated, but you can still use NCS Expert to um, manipulate. It's going to be kind of tricky, to be honest with you. This was simple, but if you want to increase brightness on these early E90s, it's not as straightforward. So what we're going to have to do is get into some hexadecimal code, load it, and compare values. I'll show you everything that I do on my car. End goal is to play around with raw code to trick the the module into pushing 13.7 volts to the actual angel eyes so that's going to be uh, going to make them much brighter it's actually pretty crazy how bright they end up getting but uh, I probably will switch to LEDs and then third video of this installment is going to be double impulse turn signals and um, going to be uh, LED turn signals just how they look you know simple little upgrade but this is a money one. This is one people have been looking for on the internet. Something that I think a lot of people would enjoy. Having the look of a later car by running your um, DRLs as angel eyes. And I think, as far as I've read, most cars that have FRM2s uh, were produced after uh, April 2007. So a lot of 2007s and 2008s. So a lot of cars that are on the road can do this. And yeah, so... Uh, Thanks for watching and good luck.